When you first sign on for this movie to play this character, what is the very first thing you do? Because you already referenced the pressure with a project like this. There's a lot of intense fans out there. So do you play the games? Do you maybe look at Bridget Wilson's work in the 95 movie? What's what's the first thing you do when you want to play Sonia? I got on the old interweb, this thing called Google. Um, <laughs> I actually just Googled Sonia Blake. I did all of this reading. I went into the fandom. I mean, it is endless. And then I found it really helpful for me um, to watch YouTubes of people playing the game. And I got a real eye for what was going on and I learned more about the world. Uh, but I didn't specifically deep dive into Sonya. I did, I did, but like the whole world. I needed to catch up on the whole world of Mortal Kombat. I, I was a Mario Kart um, pro, not so much a Mortal Kombat pro growing up so um yeah there was a lot to learn if it's not mortal kombat i respect the fact that it was mario kart <laughs> well there you go i could play princess peach pretty well i think i can't say enough great things about the guy he's just such a good dude and then and and then being on set with him as well you wouldn't even tell i mean and it's not he's not a first time director in them in the sense that he's directed some unbelievable things um amazing commercials and worked with some of the best sportsmen in the in the game so um he's been under intense pressure in his career and and this was a high pressure film you know there's a lot of pressure from the fans from um the studio I'm sure a lot of um a lot of cooks in that kitchen and uh you know we were all so all fighting um to give out the best performances possible. And, uh, you know, that meant at times fighting for um, life, not, not against each other, but for ourselves, you know, fighting, fighting to find our voices. And uh, he just managed it with such grace. I never saw the guy ever lose his temper. It was amazing. He just was always so cool, calm and collected. Like no matter the the set size, that is of the utmost importance. Or the amount of extras. I think there was one day it was like, I could be misquoting, but it's like 1,000 extras or something gnarly. And he just managed and handled it all like a pro. Going back to something you just said, is there an example of, you know, a quality of the character or a line of dialogue that you had to fight for that you felt was important to be in the film that we well, could see now? I shouldn't say fight because the great thing about Simon uh, McCoy is that he let us play constantly. So even if I wanted this, to say whether it be a line or a look or whatever it was he would always say yes there was never any I know better he would go yeah let's give it a go and then it was whatever kind of looked best at the end of the day so no there was nothing I had to fight for I could ask could I try this or I'd just try it and he would be like great or let's try something else.